तो इनके घर से हम औरतों के बेट में जो बच्चा है कोक में से निकाल के मारेंगे तो इन स्वरों की करो विदाई Further evidence disproving the myth that Hinduism is a peaceful, pluralistic religion, and further showing that Hinduism is every bit as violent and in some ways worse than Islam, the Ishmaelite, barbaric, you know, Mohammedan cult of Islam. And uh, just a quick side note, this is not a promotion or uh, endorsement of the false religion of Buddhism. It's just merely to prove a point, because Buddhism is a false religion just like Hinduism and Islam. So, uh, you know, every bit is, is part of Satan's kingdom as well. But it's just to prove the point, uh, or rather disprove the idea that Hinduism is a peaceful, pluralistic religion. But rather that Hinduism, just like Islam, falls under Proverbs 8, verse 36, where it says, you know, all they that hate me love death. You know, talking about those that hate God. And just showing that, that both Hinduism and Islam, and in many ways Buddhism as well, fall under that category. It says here on this article, Hindu violence against Buddhism in India has no parallel. Yeah, it puts even the, the Ishmaelite barbaric Mohammedans to shame. It says here in the article, the ruthless demolition of Buddhist statues by the Taliban leaders in Afghanistan has invited severe criticisms from different quarters of the world. It is quite, su quite surprising to note that the, the Hindu Nazi-led Indian government, supported by all other Hindu Nazis, has condemned the Taliban action. It appears paradoxical that the ancestors of the present Hindu Nazis in India wantonly destroyed the Buddhist statues and brutally killed the followers of Buddha in India. An impartial student of history can unequivocally remark that the Indian Nazis have no more right to criticize the Taliban action. Yeah, he's got a point in what you're going to see. Continuing on, roll, and again, I've already said I'm not good at pronouncing a lot of these Indian names, role of Sankarya Char, whatever. Basically, Nazi leaders like, and they give the name, and many kings and rulers took pride in demolishing the Buddhist images, aiming at the total eradication of the Buddhist culture. Today, their descendants destroyed the Babri Masjid, and they have also uh, pub published a list of mosques to be destroyed in the near future. Uh, it was with this sin of pride that they are condemning the deed on the part of the Afghans. Yeah, they're basically condemning the Taliban for what their ancestors did. You know, destroying, uh, you know, idols and everything else. Again, I'm not promoting either Islam or Buddhism. It's just simply, you know, because both are false religions, just proving the point that it's no different than Islam. Continuing on the article, the Hindu ruler, can't pronounce the name, demolished 84,000 Buddha, Buddhist stupas, which had been built by Ahsoka the Great, and give a bunch of other names. It was followed by the smashing of Buddhist centers in Magadha. Thousands of Buddhist monks were mercilessly killed. King Jala Uka, I think as I say it, destroyed the Buddhist Vihiras, probably not saying that right, within this jurisdiction on the ground, and that the chanting of the hymns by the Buddhist devotees disturbed, basically on the ground, that the uh, chanting of the hymns of the Buddhist devotees disturbed his sleep. And it gives the uh, verse from the Hindu, ver Hindu scriptures, which specifically command violence against Buddhists. In Kashmir, King Kinara demolished thousands of Viharas and captured the Buddhist villages to please the Brahmins. And he gives another example of that recorded in the Hindu text. Because by the way, the Hindu texts are just filled with all kinds of violence and, and blatant calls for violence against non-Hindus. In fact, in many ways, it's it's got more of that than even the Quran. Continuing on, the ruthless manner in, in which all the buildings at 
Nagarjuna Khanda were destroyed is simply appalling and cannot represent the work of treasure seekers, but many of the pillars, statues, and sculptures have been wantonly smashed to pieces. Local tradition relays that the Brahmin teacher, Sankaracharya, came to Nagarjuna Khanda with a host of followers and destroyed the Buddhist monuments. This cultivated, uh, the cultivated lands which the ruined buildings stand was a religious grant made to uh, made to the Indian guy. And Kerala same guy, and his close associate Kumarila Bata, an avowed enemy of Buddhism, organized a religious crusade against the Buddhists. We get a vivid description of the pleasure of Sankaracharya on seeing the people of non of the non, of non Brahamic faith being burnt to death from the book Sankara Digvajra. Yeah, it's no different than Islam. You know, they 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 get pleasure in that kind. Of, they they think it's like religious. You know, essentially it's it's pleasing their false gods, you know? And by the way, too, like I said, with the whole Hindu-Muslim conflict, it's the same with the whole Hindu-Buddhist conflict. It is it is two forms of Satan's kingdom fighting each other, but this video specifically is about Hinduism and showing that Hinduism is not any different than Islam, not any less terroristic. And and stuff like this is just more proof of that. Yeah, uh, if, if, you know, here, right here in Canada, if Canada ever became a Hindu theocracy, I could probably have my head put on a pike for saying the kind of stuff I say about Hinduism. Just like how if Canada became an Islamic theocracy, I'd probably have I'd lose my head for saying the fact that Muhammad was a was a false you know perverted false prophet, and that Islam is the spirituality of Ishmael, full of wild you know wild barbaric men. Plain and simple, you know the, it's no different. Just two sides of the same Luciferian Jesuit coin. So anyway, we wanted to point that out. John eight forty four talks about how Satan you know is a murderer, and that again shows that where the roots of Hinduism and Islam come from. It's just Satanism, Luciferianism. So I could say a whole lot more, but not going to bother. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.